हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज कंट्रोल ऑफ बायोडेटेरियोरेशन सो बायोडेटेरियोरेशन बायो मींस लिविंग बीइंग्स एंड डेटेरियोरेशन दैट इज डैमेज ऑफ समथिंग ओके सो बायोडेटेरियोरेशन इज डिफाइंड एज एनी अनडिजायरेबल चेंज इन द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अ मटेरियल ओके दैट इज कोज्ड बाय द एक्शन ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल एजेंट्स सच एज फंजाई टामाइट्स बीटल्स बोरर्स एंड द मरीन बोरर्स सो टाइप्स ऑफ बायोडेटेरियोरेशन दैट इज बायोडेटेरियोरेशन इज वी कैन से हैपन्स इन ओनली दीज टाइप ऑफ कैटेगरीज फर्स्ट इज बायोडेटेरियोरेशन ऑफ स्टोर्ड फूड मटीरियल्स दैन लेदर दैन ऑफ स्टोन एंड द बिल्डिंग मटीरियल्स दैन ऑफ पेपर एंड अदर सेलोलोजिक मटीरियल्स दैट इज द सब्सटेंसिज दैट कंटेन सेलोलोज एंड दैट इज ऑफ मेटल्स बायोडेटेरियोरेशन ऑफ प्लास्टिक एंड बायोडेटेरियोरेशन ऑफ pharmaceuticals and cosmetics so there are some factors that favor the biodeterioration okay first is the moisture as we know moisture is the uh, agent okay it will help in the growing of the biodeteriorants that is the agents that cause the biodeterioration then temperature it will depend whether it is cold or hot temperature as we know the warm temperature favors the growth of biodeterio germs then solar radiation it also provides some sort of we can say the stimulus to grow for the biodeterio germs and air movement and the pressure precipitation rainfall is the prime factor for providing the favorable conditions for them uh, chemical and biochemical attack is also there and intrusion of macro or microorganisms so some sort of uh, this will be also uh, we can say a factor that will help them to grow then the control methods so first is the preventive methods that is uh, how we can prevent them from causing the biodeterioration itself that is it is also called indirect method okay so activities aimed at controlling and preventing the biodeterioration by improving the environmental conditions so here no direct control is required only we can uh, improve the environmental conditions around any particular source for example around any monument okay any stone or building material so that the activity of biodeterioration can be prevented now since warm and moist environment favors the growth of the biodeterioregens so preventive methods are used that are make uh, environment cooler drier and can be effective against them so that they uh, there is not any favorable conditions for them to grow or to attack the source then second is the monitoring and the integrated pest management so ipm program include the physical cultural and the chemical control methods uh, we will be going to study them in detail in later videos so first is the biological method so use antagonist or any parasitic species to limit the growth of the other microbe or animal suppose if there is a biodeterogen that will cause harm to a particular source we can say stone so we will be uh, for controlling them we should use any another uh, parasitic species which okay hunt on them which or resides on them to control that particular biodeterogen and the physical method so use of x rays with biocidal action or the gamma rays and the uv rays to kill that biodeterogen then the mechanical that is frequent use of manual instruments like scalpels that is scrapers and the spatula that is if they reside for example termites termites happens to be on wood so we should scrap them and then use some other chemicals okay so to control them then chemical methods so like pesticides and disinfectants more generally they are known as biocides biocides means the agents to kill the living organism and also those which cause the biodeterioration or harm to a particular source then the remedial methods so these treatments have no residual effects so biodeterioregens will develop again if environmental condition and the monitoring and the preventive measures are poor 
that is we can say this method is not much effective it will again provide some conditions to grow the uh, help in growing of uh, the biodaterial germs first is under the remedial method is the heat treatment method so objects are heated to a temperature of about 52 to 60 degree celsius which kill the adult insects the larvae the pupae okay so heat treatments may use the solar heat in a process called solarization so this process is known as solarization this will be helpful to kill some sort of uh, we can say insects and the larvae then the freezing treatment so as heating treatment is utilized freezing treatment is also utilized for the we can say uh, control of the biodeterioration it is an effective preservation technology because of the role of the temperature in the biosystem stability because as we know temperature plays an important role in a living organism and the reduction of the moisture level within the food okay after the freezing and during the frozen storage so it involves the removal of heat from a food material that is accompanied by physical change as a liquid water becomes solid so it will we can say uh, provide the unfavorable conditions for the biodeterogen so it will not grow okay as much as possible then the low oxygen treatment so these are the effective for eradicating infestations as well as for preserving the fragile or the valuable organic material so this method is useful for that only they are difficult and expensive to create and operate then the use of consolidants so they have been used to conserve the archaeological stones rocks or the building surfaces from the biological weathering uh, it is means of generating structural strength in the disintegrating material and it is an artificial means of repairing the damage that is caused by natural processes so basically under consolidation what we can do is we provide a structural support that is if uh, any building monument okay or archaeological uh, source has been disintegrated by the natural processes that is of by weathering process or by precipitation increased temperature we should repair them artificially and make them prepare for further uh, we can say bad deterioration in future that is they should be ready for them and prepare themselves accordingly then the biomass removal that is under this category only that is mechanic it is a mechanical method then use of lamps with a wavelength that are non compliable okay with the photosynthetic activities of biodeterioration biodeterogens that is the physical method it involves that is biodeterogens for example some bacteria they are photosynthetic in nature they utilize the uh, light okay so whenever there is an action of biodeterogen we should use that um, wavelength that is lamps with certain sort of wavelength that is not compliable with them okay so it will help them okay to control okay and from their prevention then the application of compounds with biocidal activity uh, for example chemical this is a chemical method then the drying process so it refers to the process of the liquid water being evaporated from the surface of the product why because as water provide more suitable conditions for the biodeteriogens to grow or from the pores within the product okay so heat can be supplied in the many ways then heating is provided to dry the surface for example solar energy microwave hot gas strain then the air drying method so air is frequently used as a medium to remove the water vapor from the moist material because also water vapor provides the suitable conditions favorable conditions for the biodeterogens to grow hot air drying is mostly used in industries then the biocides so these are the chemical substances that are designed to inhibit the growth of the microbes when applied that is they are able to stop the growth of the microbes okay they are difficult tool for the preservation because many are too cosetic for environmental because they cause some sort of environmental pollution or harm to the environments so there is a risk in using them uh, they are not strong enough to discourage the uh, microbial growth and their activity is not much strong enough also then the last method is the routine maintenance of buildings that is we should maintain the and um, the quality or we can say buildings properly so that biodeterogens are not able to attack more frequently as they were and the we can say and at last the biodeterogens that are examples of biodeterogens that cause biodeterioration in all the categories that is whether in 
paper in case of stone in case of leather in case of plastic etc etc first is in case of bacteria so disulfur vibrio vulgaris and the thiobacillus then clostridium and in case of fungi the basidio esco and deuteromycetes uh, okay fungi and lichens and mosses also plays an important role there so this is a diagram representing the mechanism action of any biodeterogen that is first is agent that is any biodeterogen it do its mechanism and then damage to the product okay so here it at the earlier state if we do if we do the intervention that is eliminate the agent that is the deteriorogen then the mechanism should be stopped and event in time that uh, that is the biodeterioration activity do not took place in time and at last damage could be meant that is it could be uh, we can say amended at very early stage only so biodeterioration and products is damaged agent if we do any triggering process that is provide some suitable conditions for example precipitation warm environment then that will be able to cause the damage then again this is an example showing the wood decay that is wood in any heritage structure imperfect fungi is there by deterioration start by it and then later on wood decay fungi okay then wood biodegradation took place but if at at that process that is whenever the biodeterioration start we should do cleaning and consolidation then the decay fungi cannot took place or we can say wood decaying process cannot be done by the fungi itself it should be controlled and this is the diagram representing the bad deterioration of the stone so patchiness as you know the shape of the stone is degraded acid production should be there okay mineral solubilization or the uh, passivation is there okay sloughing the shape changes according to ph gradient also so yeah this is all about the control of bad deterioration and its methods hope you will like my video and if you like my video please do like share and subscribe to my channel